So um, why don't we go back to transit feature there? So this is if we go down a little bit, this is the transit system we should have. This is CNT's vision for what the transit system should look like. You should be able to live where you want to live, make however much you make, and be able to get to work, get to school, get to wherever you need to go. Um, so let's go. Let's, let's talk about some more of these projects because they're really cool. Uh, why don't you go into the next one, Hunter? This one's actually this one's one of my favorites. So has anybody ever been to Hyde Park? <laughs> How did you get there? I live there. Well, how do you get there? My bike. Your bike. And I take the six. Okay. So, what if you could get there on something as fast and efficient as like the L or light rail or something like that? Instead of because because what your option now is to take the Metro Electric, which if you ever taken it sometime that's not like rush hour. You know that your chances are you're going to wait for like an hour or five. And so, one of these plans that's sitting on the shelf forever and ever is to turn this into something really fast, something rapid, something that's every 10 or 15 minutes you get a train. And you can go down to Hyde Park. Uh, there's a huge amount of um, folks down in this region that, you know, this region is struggling. There's a lot of unemployment. Um, and right now, if you have to get to a job that's an off shift, like, OK, well, I can't get there. Uh, furthermore, there's a big development that's planned, like, right uh, down, 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 down there. 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 Yeah. Uh, at this old steel plant. Now it's just this big old flat piece of land, and they want to do this really green, eco friendly development there. And more people are going to be able to go there and contribute to the local economy if the training is faster on time. So it's literally like a whole neighborhood they're going to build on um, this little peninsula that used to be where U.S. Steel was at. It's like a 20-year project. It's ridiculously ambitious. It would be directly at the terminus of this new CTA line. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. And the guys who are designing it, it's, it's ambitious, but they also designed the Sears Tower and the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. These guys get with more and Merrill. So, like, ambition, they can come to but trust them. Uh, so, why don't we go to the next one? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy? Yeah. Now we break it? We kind of broke back, it. Go back up a bit. Oh, God. Nick? What'd you do, guys? I got this. I got this. I've been working on this for like four months. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this one. So. This is a plan that's been sitting there forever. So in the 1960s, uh, okay. the first mayor, Daly, his honor, uh, Richard I, uh, decided <laughs> to build an expressway called the Crosstown Expressway. And they would have bulldozed through entire neighborhoods and basically created a lot of misery on a Robert Moses sort of stuff. So they did. This is one of the few times that um, the first mayor, Daly, was not able to achieve success in this particular region. Uh, and so, what there is right now is a right of a big, long strip of land that uh, it's like a berm, it has some rail on it, and it's a couple blocks east of Cicero Avenue. So, why don't we build a train there? Wouldn't that be cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes, I think yeah. it's cool. Is it not cool? So, what this would do is it would connect all these neighborhoods to each other sort of creating local economic development around the transit stations. But it would also connect them to all these other lots. So let, let's say you live, like, here. How do you get how do you get anywhere? Honestly, I have no idea. Um, actually, I went to Addison and Cicero last night, and my brother-in-law is there. And, like, it's impossible to get to. And so what this does is it connects it to all of these other transit lines. So it goes from, you can go there from O'Hare, and you can go to Midway. And then this is the cool part. So you, you want to slide down a little bit if, if it works? It doesn't work. Well, it works ish. But in any event, so it cuts east and it connects to the red line. So now, so right now, as it exists, as the system exists, if you are here, you can't go west. You can't do it, right? So airports are emerging as these sort of major job centers. One of the major job centers in the region is O'Hare, 
on a sort of corridor um, west of that, and you can sort of lump Chambord in there as well. Uh, and Midway is actually growing as well. I mean, you fly in, you need to eat, you need to do everything you need to do, you're sort of a target or a captive market for other things. So there are jobs, is the short answer. So now, if you build that, people can get to them, particularly people um, sort of on the, on the south east side of the city, where, as we've seen earlier, there's pockets of one point. So, um, so that's pretty cool, right? It's the Wi-Fi, you know how it is. No, we used to have a website at this particular address. You know uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's really actually. Why don't you guys just pull it out on your phone? You gotta follow along. Is that good? I had a quick question since you bring up the line line. Yeah, are you talking about a building laying down new uh, railroad tracks or yeah. going off of existing freight line, maybe leasing off of the uh, the freight line, freight train lines that are there? So the reality is, is that um, that particular line, there's a, there's a huge sort of planning process that goes goes on um, to actually get something built. Um, there's like the environmental impact statement, the alternatives analysis, and several other pieces of, of sort of bureaucratic process by which you actually build something that, of that scale. And for very good reasons, this is in place. Um, but the short answer is I don't know because no one knows because they have, no one's made that decision at this point. There's there are line there though right now, right? There are existing tracks there, but whether you want to create another structure on top of that to sort of like raise it up a little bit, or I don't know, cut it all out and do like a BRT or something, mm, that's still several it's still a few years out in the sort of decision making process. And it also matters like what the people there think, right? Uh, so the line line is super cool. Um, it's, it's based on the old Mid-City Transit Way. If you look up in Go2040, the Mid-City Transit Way, Google it. Um, that's what the line line is. We know the line line is. Because better name than Mid-City Transit. Not best name. If you have a better one, I thought the line line was cool. Out. Who doesn't like the limes? <laughs> <laughs> Citrus, very important. Scurvy. <laughs> so, um, so I'm not going to bore you with the entire thing. You guys can sort of go to this on your own. 